Today, I want to take a deep dive into the real estate market in the woodlands. But in order to understand what's happening in our township, we first need to understand what's happening in the country as a whole. Because of high inflation, the Fed has been raising interest rates for over a year now, right? This has caused interest rates on mortgages to rise along with it. From a historical look, some of you may remember that this country has already seen rates of more than 18% back in 1971. And since then, rates have been gradually falling. If we focus only on the last five years, interest rates were still seeing a drop when in 2020 COVID entered. See in this graph, marked in gray, the period when everything stopped and the country went into a recession. That's why the government decided to boost the economy, forcing a drop in interest rates and making the economy spin faster. For this reason, we reached unbelievably low mortgage rates, as low as 2.65% in early January 2021. And so it stayed between 2 and 3% for the entire year of 2021. With that drop in interest rates, what did all the homeowners do? They refinanced their mortgages, significantly lowering interest rates. Today, over 74% of homeowners have interest rates lower than 5% interest on their homes. But I need to talk about another aspect, affordability. In 2022, due to the supply chain issues caused by COVID, inflation began to rise and with it, the mortgage rates. We reached just over 7% in October 2022, when the real estate market practically stopped. People were no longer able to make the payments on the house they wanted to buy, because the high interest rate made the payment amount too high. Notice in this graph what happened to the cost of a medium-priced home over the last few years. So you see, that house that would have cost you over $1,000 a month in early 2021 now costs almost twice that amount. While in the previous 10 years, the cost of a mortgage payment was approximately 15% of the salary, in 2022, it increased to 24%, making it very difficult to fit payments into the budget. Because of this, by the end of 2022, Buyers froze. See in this graph what happened to the volume of sales in recent years. In 2020, the Woodlands recorded almost $1,400,000,000 in sales, with sales of 4,850 units. Watch how beautifully this blue line grows throughout the year. In 2021, represented by the orange line, Sales rose to almost 2 billion in revenue, with a total of almost 5,000 units. In 2022, the gray line, the year started pretty well, but with the increase in interest rates in the middle of the year, there was a huge drop in sales as of July 2022, finishing the year with a total of 1 billion and 500 million in sales, with 4,100 homes sold. Note the 2023 green line, which started out quite cold, literally speaking, is finally warming up little by little. But then, you ask, will the market go back to what it was? Home inventory is historically low, with sellers feeling trapped by their current low mortgage rate on their homes. That's why they are just not willing to give those mortgages up anytime soon. And then we have a shortage of homes for sale, which is propping up home prices as home buyers come into the spring market. So you ask me, what now? Should I sell my house? Should I buy my dream home? The answer is longer than this video allows. How about if you call me and then we'll talk? Even because each case is different, isn't it? My name is Andrea Bailsma, a realtor specializing in the, the woodlands and waiting for your call to explain the best alternatives for your specific case. Call or DM me, I'm waiting for you.